again the free world is troubled by trouble in Iran. Regarding with anxiety the rioting and plots said to be aimed at overthrowing Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, a ruler who has long been regarded as one of the West's best friends in the Middle East. Iran is a country of recurring earthquakes and in 1960 suffered from one of the most violent in the nation's modern history. It brought death and destruction to 200 communities scattered over a wide area and temporarily made untillable hundreds of thousands of agricultural acres, farmlands on which the country's economy greatly depends. Under the personal direction of the Shah, Iran was just recovering from this tragedy when its latest troubles erupted. Ironically, one of the causes of the new rioting was the Shah's land reform program instituted to ease the lot of the country's impoverished peasants at the expense of large landholders. A secondary contributing trouble factor was the Shah's plans for the emancipation of the nation's women. Rioting against this program was led by leaders of a strict Muslim sect opposed to women's suffrage. Shiraz and the holy city of Qom were the scenes of the most violent disturbances, street battling in which 20 were killed and hundreds injured. Iran's army proved loyal to its ruler and in two days had the situation in hand. It is one of the best trained and equipped in the Middle East and more than once has discouraged Kremlin overt acts. Though it is now thought that other foreign provocateurs were among the recent troublemakers for His Majesty.